Time now for Money Matters. Yes, as always, I've received a number of letters this week from viewers wanting advice on how to stretch their pennies that little bit further. And whether it's finding easy ways to switch your energy provider or putting some money aside for that rainy day, our advice at Newsting is always the same. Don't fucking bother. <laughs> money is there to be spent. Scrimping, saving and worrying about the stuff is a waste of your time. Frugality is just a form of mind control schemed up by the man to stop the rest of us from ever having any fun. It's very straightforward. You get the money, you spend the money on lovely things like food and toys and sovereign rings. Once it's all run out, yeah, you shit yourself for a little while until you manage to find some more, which you then immediately spend. Life is short. The rules are mostly set against us, so the biggest fuck you to the universe is to spunk every last bit of cash you can ever lay your hands on in the pursuit of pleasure. Take Johnny Depp, who this week made the headlines for spending 30 grand a month on wine and a further three million quid on a failed record label. What a guy. The figures came to light because he's suing his management company for mishandling his finances. They are counter-suing and claiming that he ignored their repeated warnings about the lavish nature of his spending. Who are these stuck-up poindexters with their Harvard business degrees to tell a freewheeling guy like Depp how to spend his own money? What would they know about the great pleasures of wildly expensive imported wine and harebrained forays into the music business? I suppose they would rather he spent that money on a tax-efficient ISA and some loft insulation to keep his heating bills down. I pity them. They've been duped into a global epidemic of financial anxiety that tells us we must live in fear of the future, avoid extravagance and buy cheap wine on special offer from Asda. Johnny Depp doesn't have time for that sort of bollocks. Johnny Depp is too busy spending money on yachts, wines, private planes and £2.4 million on firing the ashes of Hunter S. Thompson out of a cannon. <laughs> I don't know what's more curious about this story. The fact that he had hold of Thompson's ashes in the first place, the fact that he decided to have them fired out of a cannon, or the fact that he managed to spend £2.4 million on doing so. I mean, how much can it really cost to rent a cannon? I know what you're thinking. Johnny Depp's an international movie star, and I'm just a lowly IT worker without an ISA to my name. It doesn't matter how much money you've got. It's about your duty to spend the lot on whatever the fuck you like. No one can tell you how to spend it. Not the government, not your accountant, and least of all, your wife. Because, Helen, if I want to spend an extra £3.80 on getting VIP seats at the first screen of Rogue One, I'll fucking do it. I mean, I'm <laughs> six foot two, for God's sake. You're only five foot seven. We don't have to sit together. <laughs> and that's today's Money Matters. <laughs> Jeff, isn't this sort of wanton abandon uh, exactly what we should expect from our Hollywood movie yeah, stars? Yeah, absolutely. It's the Mariah Carey of acting. Yeah. So we've been waiting for it. I mean, can you imagine, like, those? we, we have those meetings as normal people when you meet with the bank manager <laughs> or, the, or you're getting a mortgage and they say, they look at your expenditure and they go, is there anything you could cut back on? You go, well, yeah, maybe I could have 36 luxury cars, you know. Maybe <laughs> I, could, uh, I could have one less screen in the indoor cinema. But yeah, we want to believe, you want to believe that some, especially as we hit middle age, right? You want to believe that somebody <laughs> shoveling coke up their nose, and so I'm not, probably not allowed to um, suggest that. No, by that. all means, but endorse I'm, that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I'm, nor am I, I'm endorsing it, but not suggesting that, that, John, <laughs> that Johnny <laughs> Depp did it. Uh, it's like having a younger friend. Live your life, Johnny. The key thing here is he's spending $30,000 a month on wine. So he's, he's pissed the whole time. Yeah. That's yeah. why he's spending 3.8 million on a cannon. Yeah. I mean, I won't go on eBay after I've had a bottle of wine. <laughs> so I'm, right. I'm going to buy everything beginning with right. A. Let's do it. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he just pissed out of his face. <laughs> and $200,000, wasn't it, on planes? Yes, if you private go, planes, yeah. If you go over the baggage allowance on Ryanair once, you look <laughs> in that region. But I think what he should do to try and make his money back is to go into boutique funerals. Oh, yes. <laughs> For example, I would like to have my ashes mixed with liquid gold and then spunked out one of those stone cupids. Mm. <laughs> well, like, I'd pay two million for that. Wasn't there someone, a celebrity, who snorted their dad's ashes? Oh, he, come, come. Yeah, Keith, Keith Richards, wasn't it? it might, yeah, Keith Richards snorted his dad's ashes. Is that something you could imagine doing? It's too. It, the thing is, it's too far, that. Like, right. I salute Johnny Depp, and I think it's great that he's not giving his money to charity or anything like that, because we don't want our celebrities to be doing that sort of wholesome stuff. You know who bought his yacht off of him? Who? J.K. Rowling. Did she? Now, mm. I, I have a problem with that. I thought she was a socialist. Socialists exactly. aren't allowed yachts, are they? Exactly. And you should have seen the state of the yacht, it's not the sort of yacht I'd be having. I mean, what I'd... What's wrong I, with it? 
Oh, it was a sort of old-fashioned yacht. If, if I had a yacht, I'd have this new, sleek thing, you yeah, know, you know, yeah. brightly coloured out, just whisks through the air, you know, like nobody... Yachts don't fly, you're thinking of planes. <laughs> <laughs> planes. Thanks a bunch, panel.